Okay, so good morning guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's a brand new day. Today I am in the marketplace as you can see. I'm back in this market. <clears throat> I was here a couple of days ago and uh, it started raining if you can remember. But today I'm on a, that day I was here for fruits, but today I'm here on a different mission. I want to get my hair done. So I talked to Briggs, I was with Briggs the other day and he told me like this is the area where you can get your hair done. But I'm saying it's just jewelry and makeup and uh, stuff. He told, the, he told me Rawlings Park is where you can get your hair done. So I'm currently at Rawlings Park. But all I'm seeing is earrings and uh, necklaces and all that. Am I in the wrong place? And wigs. Oh, there's a lot of wigs here. It seems like wigs are very, very popular. Personally, I don't like wigs. I like hair that looks more natural. So I think I am in the wrong area. Maybe I need to ask because I think that I'm in the wrong area, but let's see. Anyway, guys, <coughs> tell me about what you think about the market content. Personally, I love it because I feel like markets are like uh, the most vibrant parts of the city. So I always like to explore markets everywhere I go. Yeah, but I think I'm in the wrong place, guys. This is just like place where they sell hair, but they don't do hair. Hello. <clears throat> do you know if I wanted to get my hair done, do you know where I can get it done? Someone told me here, Rolling Park, they sell hair and they do hair. Yeah. Outside. Outside the market. Go straight ahead. Ah, okay. So yeah, guys, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> so <clears throat> let's see if we can find the, the right place. Should I go straight or should I turn? <laughs> it's like a <laughs> super busy and there are like people preaching. I think. Is that a preacher or who is that? Hello. How are you? I'm good and you? Yeah, I'm fine too. I'm looking for hair and not clothes. I'm looking for hair. I want somewhere to do my hair. Where they can do my hair. Do you know where? Yeah, unless you go inside town. Inside town? Top. Go top. Go straight ahead. Yeah. Pass here and then go up. Yeah. Okay. Not to buy hair, to do hair? Yes. Yeah, so uh -uh. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, guys, I'm not that lost. I'm not a I'm not um lost case. But there's someone who's preaching there. It's super loud. <laughs> super loud. Anyway. Like I said, I'm not a lost a lost cause, so there's still hope. So she's told me to go up this way, and this is the same place that I came back from. So let's see uh, if I can find the place, guys. But um, I feel like here in, in in Ghana, I don't know why, or it's just a feeling that I have. I feel super safe to vlog. Like I don't feel like people look at me weird uh, especially in the market maybe because i'm using a gopro which is like a very it's not very conspicuous i think and like when i was using a phone because with the phone it's big so everybody sees like what you're doing but with the gopro it's like smaller so nobody really knows what's happening <laughs> they notice that you're recording after you pass so maybe that's one of the reasons or the other reason could be that nobody really cares <laughs> you can do your thing and nobody really cares i think so hey eh? i have to ask i have to ask again because now it seems like i'm walking around in circles and i have to get this undone and fresh hair done which takes a lot of time so i need to save time by asking for directions but let me see hello excuse me do you know where i can get my hair done near here there's no way to get hair done. Someone directed me to Rollins. They said I can get my hair done here. Yeah, in this area. Huh? Rollins Park, yeah. Rollins Park is down there. So I go down the street. Okay, thank you so much. Hey, guys. What's going on? What's going on? Is this going to be a look for someone to do my hair vlog? It seems like it. Because it's already been like five minutes I've been here. And all I've been doing is looking. But look at that, guys. Ah, maybe I should walk there. Let me walk there and show you like the real market vibe. Here we go. <clears throat> so this is what you didn't get to see the last time because it was raining. This is what you missed out. Oh, okay. I see hair there. Let me go. 
and ask. I'm not sure if they do or they're just selling. Okay, so this woman. Hey, hey, hey. I want to show you this woman. You remember last time I met a woman like this with the empty pan? So someone in the comment section told me that uh, the, those women, they use those empty pans to carry stuff. So if you buy a lot of stuff in the market, they will help you to carry. Hello, you're just selling here, right? You're not, you don't do hair. So if I buy, where can I get it done? Because I want to... Uh, inside the mall. Inside the mall? Yeah. And the people in the mall told me to come outside the mall. <laughs> they told me to go look at you. Where? In, there's a market up here, yeah. so they have hair salons. Yeah, where they sell the tomatoes. So sh I should go up straight. Yeah, I go up straight and then up this road, and then I, I turn around. Turn. Where they sell the tomatoes. Okay, and then I look. I see a hair salon area there. Okay, so let me find the salon first and then buy hair. I don't want to be stuck with hair. Not easy. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> hey, guys, <laughs> welcome to Kiros so early in the morning. <laughs> so anyway, I was telling you that woman, the one with the big pan. So if you buy a lot of stuff in the market and it's so heavy for you to carry, you give it, give it to them, and then they carry it for you. Because I was wondering what's going on with the with the pan, you know. I I thought she was selling stuff, and it turned out she was just trying to ask me if uh, she can carry my stuff for me. But I just had a, oh that is nice graffiti. But I just had like um, some fruits, some mangoes and oranges. So yeah, in case you're wondering what's up with the pans, now you know. Thank me later. So anyways, now I think I should cross to that side of the street where they're selling tomatoes. Because she said find the tomatoes. And then from there I can try to find my, the way, my way to the salon. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys later when I do find the salon because here oh ah oh, pollution pollution from exhaust the cars the cars exhaust oh can't even breathe so much smoke um so guys I'll talk to you later because here it's nothing much is happening just a just a market vibe just people going on about their daily business oh that's a lot of stuff on her head oh this is also a lot of stuff on her head guys but anyway Let's have this. Let's try and have this. Ah, <laughs> this reminds me so much of Isli. Isli, if you're Kenyan, then you know what is Isli. Some other dog. I think they're selling cow hide or something. Oh, this is interesting. They're selling meat just out in the open. This is interesting. It's very interesting, guys. They're selling meat out in the open. Hello. Wow, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so I finally found the salon. Let me show you what it looks like. Very nice place, I like it. And what's even better is the lady. <laughs> is the lady Hello. one. <laughs> She's really, really nice. You know, Ghanaian people, you are so beautiful amazing. All the Ghanaian people I've met have been super, super nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Like, I feel like the people in Ghana have been my best experience of Ghana so far. I'm from Kenya, so this is my first time in Ghana. Wow, like, I love it. Wow, wow. <laughs> I love it here so so much. <laughs> so finally, my hair got a lot of hate. So many people look fake, look dirty, yes. looks what they don't understand. Oh, really nice for you. Yes. So now we're going to remove this, yes, and then we're going to wash, yes. and then I should have a very very nice hairstyle. You guys will love it. Well, I hope you love it because there are only people who hate for no reason. <laughs> but I hope that you're going to love it. So now we're going to get started you yeah, by removing fast. this. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, I'll update you as it goes um, as it goes on. But for now, let's enjoy, let's enjoy getting new hair that. So, guys, we're done removing the dreadlocks. Look at that! Look how I look. I look like a whole new person, just with mini dreads. Actually, I look like the same person, just with mini dreadlocks now. <laughs> this is the whole mess that was there. You see all this hair? Uh, all this hair is what came off of my head. And there was somewhere where I cut my I will show you I will show you when um I'll show you when she undoes this because I have somewhere where we where I have somewhere here <laughs> where my hair is like extremely short because I cut it when I was undoing my own hair. And that's why I don't like undoing my own hair nowadays. Because I think they're talking about me but I'm not sure. <laughs> yes, they're talking about me because they had video. <laughs> Are you guys talking about me? <laughs> Ah, yeah, 
here because I had you say video. What is Shami? Shami, take a picture. Shami, 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 uh, but anyway guys I'll show you oh I think there's a part left yeah I felt the bump I'll show you what it looks like uh, later I just wanted to give you an update where we are still so <laughs> what is the boss yeah, <laughs> what <laughs> Uh, she doesn't speak English. So she's asking me how to speak. You don't speak English. What is Momos? Show me to post. Show me to post. Hello, my friend. I'm changed my style. You changed your style. Wow, I really like your style. It's crazy. Thank you. It's crazy, especially the hair. This is Topo. <laughs> You're asking if I have to pause? <laughs> yes, I have to pause. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what is she saying? My ass is here. What is yes? <laughs> what is yes? I have a tear. No, I don't have a tear. <laughs> <laughs> what, <laughs> what, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh my god, I love the bracket survive. I love this bracket. <laughs> I don't even understand what she's trying to tell me. I have to pause. This is why this Yes, I have to pause. When I stand up, you'll see that I have to pause. <laughs> uh, oh, the baby's crying. I don't know. Why is the baby's crying? Oh, the mom. She was crying for the mom. Okay, guys. She doesn't speak English, but I think she's trying to tell me something, which is getting lost in translation. <laughs> what, what, what is the pause? You big Ah, big No, unfortunately not. What is No, I don't have to pause. No, I don't have. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> I have a very small to boss. Yeah, she, she, she has a big to boss. <laughs> I'm so happy that I came to this rocket today. It's such a vibe. Uh, <laughs> the women here are such a vibe. Guys, let us know down in the comment section if you have to boss. <laughs> now I know a new word. Normally we say nyash, but now it's to boss. From today it's to boss. Um, Coco Girl calls it the Suzy, but from now on it's to boss, okay? <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Uh, oh my god. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, guys, so I'm still in the salon. As you can see, we already finished the undoing, uh, the washing, now we're doing the straightening. Ah, <laughs> it's a little bit painful because <laughs> it's a little bit painful because here I think they do it uh, differently. So, back home, they would use just this. To, to do the straightening this blow dryer we call it a blow dryer and they put it like a very big comb there which is you when you have natural hair you need like a wide tooth comb to 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 comb through it but here they use they're using this uh is it hot ah it's hot yeah so they're using this it's like um what is this called um a flat iron it's like a flat iron on the inside and it, on the outside it has comb it has like a brush thing i think that's why it's a little bit uh more painful than usual yeah. <laughs> so yeah so we're going to finish straightening this and then we'll we will do my hair we will do the braids that i want and then she put in this um treatments 
I, I, uh, normally I just call it oil, an oil, but here they, could, they call it treatment. In my hair and my scalp feels so good. It feels so relaxed. I mean, can, can you please give me the, the treatment that you put? I want to show them. It's like, it feels so good. <laughs> Not this one. Oh, this one, yes. This one, guys. It's made of... This is a living live live conditioner. This is what she used first before she, she combed, which made it like detangle. But this one, I've never tried this before. It's the first time I tried it. So it has a guava drumstick tree. What is drumstick tree? Cinnamon, uh, uh, essential oil, and turmeric. It feels so, so good. So, so good to the scalp. Um, yeah, so I think I'll be taking this with me. <laughs> and I'll be applying it every once in a while to help with the, with the dryness and the humidity that comes from being in a, in a coastal area. But for now, let me continue <laughs> through the suffering. Hey. Aluta continue, the struggle continues, and then I'll talk to you guys much, much later. Bye. Um, so guys, we're almost done doing my hair. It's a classic case of what you ordered versus what you got. Uh, but she's about to do something <laughs> with the hair. I'm not sure because I saw her get a, uh, this thing. Let me see. Let me see. This thing is used for burning. You have it in the, in the villages. They use it um, as a light, as a bulb. Like Bob, so I'm curious to see what she's going to do with this. I've never seen it done before, so let's see what goes on. I hope I don't get burnt. So, you're burning the hair, the ones that goes up, like this. Oh, okay, interesting. Let's see how it's done. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit scared. I don't have a good relationship with fire, I've been burnt before. So I'm a little bit apprehensive, but let's see. Uh oh. Ah, okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, so it's basically just burning the fiber that comes out of your hair. That's basically it. Nothing uh, out of the ordinary. <laughs> yeah, but hey. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, guys. Tell me if you guys have the same thing uh, back in your home. It's the first time I've seen that done. Huh? Sorry? Oh, you're talking to her, not to me. Okay. Yeah, let me know if. It's your daughter. <laughs> let me know if you guys have ever had that done before or if you do it back home. I've never had it done. Again, it's my first time. I'll let you Quite interesting. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys when I live here. There's something very interesting happening today that I'm curious to go see uh, in a couple of minutes. So I'll talk to you when I leave this place, okay? See you in a bit. So guys, like I told you, there's some sort of festival going on today and uh, I'm headed to Jamestown but I saw a bunch of people uh, singing on the streets, dancing on the streets. I'm not sure if they're doing the celebration uh, that, that I'm going to attend but I don't want to follow the crowd. Let me go to the place that I'm a little bit more familiar with. So, about the hair guys. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's a classic case. Like I was saying, it's a classic case of what I ordered versus what I got. I hate it. But the lady was so, so nice. Like I showed her a picture of what I want. Uh, she did her own thing. And because I was so busy on my phone, replying to messages and all that, I really didn't check. So I'm to blame. I realized at the end, like uh, it's a whole mess. But it is what it is in case. There's not much I can do about it, so I think I'll have to stay with hair that I don't like <laughs> for the next uh, couple of weeks, maybe. So, we are still this is on the way to Jamestown. Um, so, I'll talk to you guys. Uh, I mean, I was, I'll stay with it for a couple of weeks because I paid for it, so I can't get rid of it that fast. But, <laughs> yeah, as soon as I feel it served me <laughs> and I've gotten my money's worth, I'll get, I'll get rid of it. So, anyway. Uh, let's uh, let's continue to Jamestown and then I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Bye. So guys, I'm back in uh, Jamestown and there's definitely a different vibe today. So first of all, first things first, there's a boxing academy right there. I don't know if you can see. So I really want to come here and see like this whole boxing thing. Jamestown is pretty famous for that. But in the meantime, there's a lot of police presence. You see, this is a police car. 
and there's a lot of police presence so i think they are meant to keep the place safe i don't know of course i don't want to film the police i don't want to get into any sort of problem but there's so much traffic and so much buzz like going on today but i don't know where the actual festival is so we'll just walk around i think until we find the actual festival i don't know <laughs> it's an actual festival because it just seems like people are excited about something but there is no one place where they have all like sat down to celebrate something so you know how we do it here so if we don't know we consult the locals i think it's about the it's about time when we consult locals to find out if there actually is a festival where it is can we but can we be part of it and all that good stuff okay also it's very windy here so i don't know if uh the GoPro is going to pick up my audio like very well but let's see hello I heard that there's some sort of festival going on here today yes. where yes. can I see it yes. oh. the, next the next junction and go inside yes. ah okay thank you so much oh you see always always ask the always ask the locals so that place with a lot of police presence that's where the festival is so now we head back <laughs> it's a good thing that i asked without having gone too far so now we head back and uh yeah we go find the festival guys but it's very vibrant so so many people of you asked me to do like a night ghana night life Accra night life something video but it was so quiet for the last one month um for the last since we got here <laughs> hello <laughs> i'm very fine thank you I'm here to see. I'm here to okay, see the okay. festival. So happy. Uh, sorry, so happy. people are so happy. Yeah, yeah? Okay. me. I look so happy. Yeah. <laughs> wow, thank you. I'm a happy person in general. Yeah. Okay. So I should go down yeah, this way down. to see the festival. Yeah. What should I expect? Dancing, singing. Dancing, everything. Okay, okay. So thank you so much. Okay. okay. So nice. Thank you. So nice, guys. Everybody is like so nice. They said I look so happy. Hmm. Guys, I keep telling you I'm a happy person. Stop waiting on me for laughing too much. What can I do? It's the way I was born. And I have no problem with being a happy person. So, sorry about that. So anyway, like I was saying. Um, uh, what was I saying? I was saying, hello. Hi, how are you? No, sorry, I don't speak the local language. I'm from Kenya, I don't understand the local language. Yeah, sorry. English. I'm uh, very fine, thank you. Sorry? I'm Rebo. I'm Susan. Yes. I'm a I'm a I'm a YouTube video maker from Kenya. So I'm here to see the festival. You guys are here to keep security, right? Okay, thank you so much. So, <laughs> he's a policeman. Very nice as well. Like I said, so many policemen. There's so much going on. So at the um, salon they told me to be very, very careful with my bag. So as you can see I've turned the front. This is the front. I've turned it to the back and the back is on the front. So yeah, so let's see what this festival is all about. So as I was saying, it was quiet for the last one month because uh, I think people had done some farming and uh, you had to be quiet because if you're noisy, you'll upset the gods and then you'll not, then you'll not get a good harvest or something like that. Um, yeah, but now it's the end of that farming. Okay. Okay, it's interesting. People are dressed so nicely. <laughs> People are dressed so nicely, but uh, let's wait for that. <laughs> that guy is funny. The way he's saying whatever he says is funny. So, yeah, it's the celebration of the end of this time. I have no idea what to expect, guys. I'm just going with the flow. I'm just going with the flow. Maybe I'll find some locals to talk to who can explain to me like what's going on. But for now, let me just walk around and look for the action, where the action is. Looks like it's down here. Wow, it's very vibrant today. It looks like there's something going down there. Going on down there. The beauty of our GoPro is that it's very inconspicuous. Okay, so people are not stepping here. And there's like the military. I have no idea what's going on. Should I go ask? Hello. Okay, I can go. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. There's a red carpet. There's a red carpet. There's a stage there. Everybody looks like loyalty. Find something treasure. A treasure. It's like there's loyalty. Wow. Oh wow, guys. Oh, wow. Look at this. 
I'm also confused because of all that's going on and I don't know who to ask and what to ask them. But I think there's also some local media here. Uh, maybe I should talk to the media. Hello! What's, do you know? Uh, sorry, are you the media or something? Ah, okay. I'm a YouTuber from Kenya. And someone told me that there's something going on here today. So I'm not exactly sure what's going on here today. Can you like uh, tell me a little bit about what's happening here today? I give you a rough idea, but perhaps someone uh -huh. and I can give you a rough idea of what's okay. happening that you can speak to one other if I seem to give you more details. Okay. This is the capital. Ah, okay. Jamestown is the capital. So, okay, guys. Okay. Um, they put a ban on prominent lands and Okay. 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 So, more or less like a hunting. Okay. Uh, okay. And so this is the day, and there is a ban on the farming and that's okay. the period. I think it's a period of one month. Okay. And okay. And everybody plays music for that, that period. Okay. They are lifting the ban. Ah. After today, you see that most of the nightclubs are ah. playing. Ah. They play music. Okay. 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 So what do we expect? Do you expect some dancing, some singing? Chief so, um, priests. Some, oh. some rituals and he was uh, by making noise. Here. Yeah, here. Okay, so here is where the action is. So I should just stick here. Ah, okay, cool. Do you know the schedule, the time schedule or something? Do you know the time schedule of how things are happening? Okay, okay, so let me wait here. Oh, you're waiting for them to pass here. Okay, great. So I'm, I'm right on time. Thank you so much for talking to me. What's your name? Elliot. Hey, Elliot, thank you so much. I'm Susan. Nice to meet you. So guys, I'm right on time. So, Tabon, Ololo, Oloko, something. So I should stand here and wait for the priest. The priest is coming and he's going to do some rituals, I think, and do some screaming and do some dancing and then that will mark the end of the quiet season and then we'll go back to normal season. So now today I'm part of the Ghanaian media. I'm going to stand here with the media. I hope I get a like, media badge and uh, go with the flow guys. But everyone looks so beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Hello. Can I ask you some few questions, please? You don't mind? No. No? You mind or you don't mind? You don't mind. You don't mind. I don't know what to say. Ah, I just want to know about this culture because I'm not from Ghana. I'm from Kenya. So someone told me there's some festival going on here. So I just came to find out like what it's all about here. So if you don't mind.
with the media. I'm moving with the crew. Let's see. We should go to our position. Oh, where is your position? Where is the media position? Ah, uh, this here? Ah, oh, okay, okay. I have no idea what's happening. Someone just told me today that there's something happening, so I came. I'm trying not to get here. Uh, so now. 
Yeah. You were so told you had the advantage to make sure you were busy here, from half time. No more the one who is supposed to pour libation here. So that is the, the only one. Is the biggest elder. Yes. Ah. He's the highest priest of God's state. Oh, he's the highest priest of, of God's state. state. Okay. Wow, I'm learning so much today. 
I have no idea. And the ladies, what about the ladies who are here? We are uh, this thing. I don't know how to call it. And then, who chooses them? Who chooses the ladies who are here? Ask for them. The, the, the spirit that arrests them. The, the priest is the one that chooses. No, it is the uh, the spirits. Uh huh. That arrests them. The spirits uh, arrest them. Yes. So the people when, when they die, the spirit goes. To where it comes from. Uh huh. So here, yeah, uh, uh, the spirit will go around. Okay. And you will find the one you like. Choose the choose the lady. You can decide to choose woman, man, woman. Ah, okay. Wow, interesting. So all these ladies have been chosen by the spirit. Yes. Ah, and how do you know now? How as we, how do humans know who the spirits have chosen? Well, we, 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 our priest, uh, our priest. Uh -huh. We are not from their homes. Uh -huh. uh, we have what we call macho. Uh -huh. we go to, to what the, is macho? The battle is where there are secret places. Okay. Where they pray. Okay. Where the priest pray. Oh, okay. So there's a secret place where the priest prays. Yes. This is called the battle. Yes. So the priest Batu. goes. Batu. Batu. <laughs> and so the priest, the priest goes there and sees the women who have been chosen by the prayer. Wow. That is so interesting. Now, Father, I you. I you. No. 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 Easy for me to get injured here, 
with the, all the pushing and the shoving. And the royal guards are ruthless. Yes. They are pushing them. That's a job. Yeah. That anybody can come close to the chiefs. Yes. Because of that. The excitement of the people. Yes. Which you can understand because they're excited to the yes. chief, you know? They are very excited because this is what makes the guards the guards. Are you guard? I am partially guard. Partially guard. Yeah. I saw something interesting there that maybe you can help me to, to understand. So you see where they were seated with the elders with white clothing? So who are these people who are They are chiefs. The most of, almost all of them are chiefs. Ah. From different clans. Ah, so the grass state has which state? Yes, we have a lot of we have a lot of clans and states. So they are a lot of grass states. The Agra is in grass states. Yes, and that is the most people who are in real grass Okay, so these are chiefs from the last day. Okay, and so, and so, uh, amongst them, I saw a little boy sitting in here, the white thing, and something on here.
Yeah, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. Yeah, for you, you're a man. Very easy. I'm the only girl there with my camera. Most of the photographers are men, you know? I'm the only, only girl there, so it's easy for me to be shown. Show them. But thank you so much for talking to me. And you really explained a lot. And the truth, like, now I have a piece of camera. <laughs> I almost dropped, dropped my bottle. So, so guys, uh, the fun is over. Not over. The fun has just started. Eh? I meant the festival. The, the thing is not the festival. It's a celebration. The festival will start. Um, will be in August. So it's a time to just like usher in the festival and all that. So it's finished. The streets are uh, like very very festive. There's people walking in the streets. Um, you know, beating their drums, dancing, and all that. And there's a lot of traffic today. So. Uh, there's this place that uh, Coco told me about, it's called Sheep House, someone told her about it, so we are going to come here and just chill for a minute, wait to see if there will be a vibe here, so, because uh, there's supposedly supposed to be a vibe later, later on in the night here, but yeah, this is what it looks like, I am uh, walking down the steps heading towards the beach, it looks sort of like a beach club, beach bar, something like that, I'm not sure. Uh, Coco is not here, she's be here. She called me and said she'll be here in like 15 minutes. So I'm just going to chill here and wait for her. But look at that. Can you guys see all that, those white things you're seeing over there? All those are boats. boats. Of, uh, there's a, what's that thing called? The wall on the ocean. What is it normally called? I don't know, like a walkway or something. But here, all these things are boats. The ones that you can see that. So, yeah, I don't know if the vibe comes here later or... <laughs> Or am I too early or what's going on? <laughs> but as of now, there's not much of a vibe going on here. So yeah, let's wait and see. Uh, so I'll talk to you guys much later. If there'll be a vibe, I'll show you that. If not, I think I am going to end the video here. But this is the cleanest beach that I've been to, to so far. Uh, I know there's another one called, I think, Lazadi or Labadi or something like that. Oh, there's a stage here so maybe something happens here and they have like little houses here it's a really cool place i think it's a beach bar there must be a lot of beach parties happening here so i want to show you the beach because it looks like oh this there's a fence here but it looks like the cleanest beach that i've been to so far uh, i will go to the public beach i think it's called the body or lazari or something like that uh yeah but basically that's it that is a lot of boats as you can see all those are the boats that i was showing you the extensive they go all the way up. and so the beach was just clean there here here comes the plastic again look at them sheer amount of plastic bags here look at that look at that guys this is a mess oh my god do they have no guys that guy you remember the guy who was doing the beach cleanup I think he told me he was doing the beach, beach cleanup. I think he needs uh, some donations to buy something like nets or something like that to do clean to clean up the beach because this is this is this is sad. This is sad. Things like this make me feel so sorry for future generations, you know, because this is choking the ocean. It's slowly killing the ocean, and of course. The ocean is part of our ecosystem so we cannot survive without it but anyway <laughs> i feel like i have something sad to say in every video and i don't want my videos to be like known for being sad or start or something like that but let me show you what this place looks like from the outside seems like there's a beautiful sunset on the camera but not really from here not really because it's already after sunset so i'll see you guys in the next one if 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 there's uh, nothing interesting to show you Oh, I really don't like this hairstyle. Maybe I remove it sooner than I that I wanted to. But if there's something to show you, I will show you. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. We are growing. We are growing very well. But I've noticed that 71% of my watchers are not subscribed to the channel. So please, guys, consider subscribing if you're enjoying what you're seeing because we keep coming back for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for your support. We are road to 5K. We'll get to 5K by the end of the week. I trust and believe that. And then you have a mini celebration, okay? I'll see you guys. Oh, also I have membership. I have membership, guys. There's three different levels. You can choose whichever suits you best. There's bronze, silver, and gold. So you can choose whichever um, fits you best. There's packs for each and every one of them. Yeah, but I'll see you in the next one. This is the end of this vlog. See you. Bye.